Hey guys, it's Kyle with Rhino. I want to teach you guys how to balance the Rhino Steady in a couple of simple steps. Now if you notice, the Rhino Steady out of the box is completely assembled. What you want to do first is take off all the individual weight slices from the weight ends. So all you do is just unscrew the weight cap, take off the weight slices, and set them aside for right now. If you notice, all the, all the little weight slices come with a channel in them. So that makes it really easy to take them on and off when you're balancing the entire unit. Next step, is grab your camera, grab whatever lens you're using, if you're using a mic, any accessories, put them all on your camera as if you're going to be flying it. You want to get it prepped for when you're actually pressing the record button, have that exact same setup. So that means your lens cap's going to be off, your battery's going to be in, your memory card's going to be in, um, you're going to set your focal length. If you're using a monitor that flips out, put that on. Um, pretty simple stuff, but it's really easy to forget one of those, and then you have to rebalance it if you forget any of those, uh, any of those things. Next step is to actually mount your camera to the stabilizer. So if you notice on the stabilizer, there's five different channels. And there's one captive screw in there that navigates between all the different channels. And so what you want to do is, since I'm using a pretty heavy Tokina lens, it's about a pound, I want to mount my camera in a channel that's further back. Now if I'm using a prime lens or if I'm using a really lightweight GoPro setup or iPhone setup, you want to mount it farther front. So all you really do is pick the channel that you want and thread it into the bottom. Pretty simple stuff. Now, next order of business is determining your drop time. Drop time is how long it takes this weight to go 90 degrees down here, so your camera's upright. Um, people debate on how long of a drop time you want. I would say anywhere between two and three seconds. Um, people debate between one and four seconds. Uh, it doesn't really matter a ton. Um, so really, ideally, when you let go of this weight bar, it would be one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Take about that long to get vertical. So you barely want this weight to be heavier than your camera if you're gonna have a good flying setup. So what I'm gonna do is since I already know that this is going to take quite a bit of weight since it's pitching back really far. So I'm just going to put, say, four of the thin weights. Now we include four thin weights and then one thick weight. And so if I needed any more weight than this, I would need to go ahead and put on one thick weight and then I can keep on adding more thin weights. Now if you ordered the heavy steady package, it's basically ordering three additional of these weights. So if you maybe have a Canon 5D Mark III and you have a really beefy lens and a mic, maybe a monitor, you can balance up to six pounds. Um, so let's check our drop time after I put those weights on. It's pretty static right now. Uh, but since I already know this is a pretty good weight setup, it's probably better to have it, I mean, less weight on here than more because it'll be easier to balance the rest of the setup. So, Let's go ahead, and I'm, I'm gonna be okay with that. Next thing you wanna do is check out the pitch of the camera. It's a little bit of flying terminology, but if you look at an airplane, and if it's pointing up or down, that's the pitch. That's the axis it's, it's going on. Now, roll is something different. Roll is side to side, and then if you look at yaw, you can actually control yaw. You don't balance for yaw on this, but you control it with the pan wheel with your thumb. So let's check, take a look at the camera. It's pitching back pretty far. So the whole idea is when you pick a channel, you want the camera to not be leaning forward, but you want it to lean back just slightly. So pick a channel so that it leans back just slightly, not too far, because since it's leaning back slightly, all we do to account for that is add weight to the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw on, let's see here. I'll throw on one thick weight and two skinny ones. And let's see how that's doing. That's decent. So what you can do is you can kind of throw the camera around and you can see it's kind of leaning back a little bit further. That kind of gives you a, a clear sign that you might need a little bit more weight to level out the pitch. So all I do is unscrew the weight end and throw on one more weight. Let's take a look at this. That looks fairly level. Um, that's good for a rough balance right now. We go ahead again and check our drop time. You can see that our drop time increased because we added weights to the front. 
So that's why when you're first setting your drop time, you probably want to have it on a little bit of the lighter side so it's not too heavy when you get to this point. Um, now, actually, our, our roll, surprisingly right now, looks pretty good. Normally, when I'm setting up a camera, uh, when I choose the channel in the left and right position of it, um, it won't be like this. But um, if it was off by a little bit, if it was pitching to one side or another, all you do is unscrew the thread in the bottom and you move your camera left to right to account for which way it's rolling to. Now at this point, I'm already ready to, to probably dial in my drop time. Um, so again, we can look at this and the bottom weight is going down a little bit too fast. So what I wanna do is for all of our micro adjustments, you screw in and out the weight packs. Now this is gonna change it ever so slightly. So let's check out the drop time again. Uh, Almost not quite enough, that took a little bit too long. So let's screw it back out. Check the drop time again. Okay, that's decent. I'm gonna leave it at that right now. And again, anytime you change that, you wanna unscrew and then re-screw the lock nut back on. So first order of business, you check your drop time. Second, you check your pitch. Sometimes when you change your drop time, it changes your pitch a little bit, which it actually looks like it's tilting back right now. So let's add on one more weight to the front. Check your pitch. Looks pretty decent. If that was off a little bit, you can screw this in out to account for the micro adjust. Now my roll, which is this movement again, let's check it out. You can. Look at the level in the back of the camera. Looks like my camera is leaning right a little bit. So what we have here is a real simple micro adjust, which, which is basically just a little weight on a thread in the back. And since it's leaning right, I'm gonna move this guy to the left and see how that changes it. Got a little better, it's still leaning a little bit right, so let's keep on moving the guy left. All right, perfect. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna move it a little bit more. And I think we're pretty golden right now. So again, three steps. Check your drop time. Looks decent, maybe a little fast. Check your pitch. Looks good. And my roll was already good off the bat. I just had to dial it in on the micro adjust. And we look pretty good. So we're pretty ready to start flying this thing. So check out our other video to learn how to fly the Rhino Steady. Thanks for watching.